All right, everyone, today's video is going to be a complete guide to your horse in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, how best to equip him, where to get the best ones, where to get armor, etc, etc. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you need to know is that you need to go to a stable in order to buy a horse or to buy a better horse. Horses come in six tiers effectively. You have tier 0, tier 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, there are three different stables located around the map. Number one is located... I'm not going to try to pronounce this. Number one is located here, and you're going to talk to a guy named Johan. It's right there, a horse trader in this uh, town or city. Number two is located south of, of Uzit. Again, I'm mispronouncing that, but south of here, uh, it's this farmstead where the cursor is right now. There is another horse vendor there that has some very good horses and some very good tack and gear for it. And the third one is located down here in this town. And again, I would totally butcher that pronunciation. Uh, so there is a third horse vendor right here in this town. Actually, I believe it's up, up this road right here where the cursor is now. But you'll only unlock that one after you've done a few main quests. It won't take very long, but if you're progressing the main quest storyline, you will eventually end up here as a requirement. When thinking about which horse to buy, it's important to actually go up and inspect all of the different horses at the stable in order to understand fully what their stats are. So if I go up to this horse and I click inspect, then I can see its characteristics compared to my current horse, um, and I can also see what they are compared to each other and the other horses at that stable. So you need to inspect all of the different horses that the vendor has and then make a note on paper uh, or just memorize what they are and pick which horse you want that way. That's the only way to see exactly what you're going to be buying. Um, as you can see, this horse has some attributes that are better than mine, but that's mostly a product of the gear that my horse is wearing. Um, so this is actually a very good horse, but I, I prefer mine better. We can inspect another one here, and this is actually a nod to the Witcher series by the horse name of Roach, but you can see that Roach is not a better horse than what I have. Um, he's better in the speed category, but again, that's because of some of the armor that my horse is wearing. Um, but he has some good attributes, but he's a low rank horse. So once you've inspected all of the horses, then you'll head back over to the horse vendor and you will select the dialogue option to buy one. And once you know all the stats, then you can pick the right one for you. Tier five is generally the best. I currently have a tier five horse. It starts with a K. It's a long, hard to pronounce name for me. Um, but there are other, you know, horses that are going to do better in certain categories. You can get a pack horse that has a lot of carry capacity, but very low speed. And it really is user's preference. But this is just one stable, uh, and there are quite a few choices. I've already purchased uh, one of the Tier 5 horses, and I've stolen the other Tier 5 horse uh, for a quest from this merchant. But at the other stables, there are other horses that are Tier 5. So it's just a matter of going to all three different stables and then finding the proper horse for you. Now that you've bought your horse, and they can be a little bit pricey, so save up, you do have to equip it. Whether or not you're sticking with the basic horse that you get during the campaign, personally, I decided to trade up and get a Tier 5 horse, because the ones that you get during the main campaign or have access to are typically very low. They're Tier 0. They're below Tier 1, and they have very bad stats. Uh, once you have the horse that you want, even if you are sticking with a low Tier 1 because you have some connection with it, it's time to equip it, and this can also be very pricey. So you need to have a lot of Groshen, Groshen, however you say that, uh, you need to have a lot of gold in order to pick up these uh, these equipment pieces. So you have all of the different gear that comes in a variety of tiers. You have the basic stuff, then you have the more advanced stuff. You started to get into knight's equipment, then you have noble equipment, and then you have golden equipment or kind of, uh, you know, really, really fancy extravagant stuff. Uh, in my situation, I'm using mostly knight's equipment or nobleman's equipment. Um, the, uh, the comparisons, I again, all these pronunciations are very difficult for me. Um, these will slow down your horse, but provide a little bit of armor. Uh, so you can pick one of these up if you find one that you really like the aesthetic of. Uh, they're going to slow down the travel speed and the gallop speed of your horse, but they will provide just a little bit of armor. Uh, the bridles really don't do anything at this stage. I have not found a bridle that impacted my stats in any meaningful way, but the horseshoes and whatever tier you choose, the higher tiers are going to do it much greater, are going to directly impact your horse's speed. So you do want to have a good pair of horseshoes. Um, also, you're going to have saddles. Now you have uh, plain saddles, which are the lowest tier. So you can have a plain saddle with four saddlebags, and that will actually be worse than almost a basic hunter saddle. So if you have a hunter saddle with two, three, or four saddlebags, that's going to be wildly superior to your plain saddle. And then after that comes fine saddles. 
Fine saddles, same as Hunter versus Plain, are going to be much better. Even with the same amount, even a couple less saddlebags, you'll have more carry capacity. As you can see, if I scroll over the lower tiers, I go from 285 with a Plain Saddle 4 to 315 with a Hunter Saddle 2, and then 375 with a Fine Saddle 3. After Fine Saddles, you get into Noble Saddles, and those are the best that I personally have seen. Uh, the bridles don't really do anything. As you can see, when I'm unequipping and re-equipping, nothing goes down there. The horseshoes, as I stated, will directly impact speed, so try and get the best horseshoes possible. Also, little Easter egg here. There is a dead corpse of a horse in a nest on this cliff to the northeast, uh, top right, a little bit above, and to the right of Ledechko, uh, or however you say it. There is a dead horse in a nest, as you can see right here. However, if you are going to jump down and get it, you should probably go up. Like, look for this big boulder that's directly above it. There's a nice ledge that you can see down. And there's a bunch of different ways people have said to jump up from the bottom. People have also said to jump over from, uh, from the east. However, I go a little bit to the west and down, and there is a nice ledge a little bit further over that you can jump to, which will leave you pretty much... Uh, let's run over and show here. I can't sprint actually because my legs are damaged from the fall. Um, but there's a ledge somewhere over there behind these bushes that you jump down, you fall, you land here, and then you run over to the nest. Now the nest has some horse armor and I'm not sure if it's the only stuff. It's the only stuff I've encountered so far. I haven't been able to buy any, um, unfortunately, but the nest has some armor and it has some valuable materials. If you go here and you loot, then you can see Chaffron and Crinier, which is horse armor, some money, and a noble bridle. So that's a really fun Easter egg if you want to grab this stuff. Uh, it looks pretty good. If you go to the inventory, I'll show it on the horse for just a second here. If we go over to armor, uh, it's probably at the bottom. Yep, let's send it over to horse and that as well. And then we can check out the tack. There it is. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's not game changing or anything, but a nice little Easter egg for those that are interested and then a noble bridle as well. Lastly, for training, I personally use Vashek, who's located in the top right hand portion of the map at the stables there. Uh, right up here, this is the location. And he will, like every other trainer in the game for any skill, give you periodic amounts of experience based on your current level and you know the amount of coin that you pay. So you can train your horse riding skill at varying intervals, um, you know, based on how advanced you are uh, and get some experience that way. So that's a really good way to raise it in certain increments if you need a little bit of XP here and there. Another thing to do is simply hold B one time or the corresponding key on a road and you will automatically canter on your horse to the different, you know, pathways and curvatures of that road. So you'll just ride down the road gaining horsemanship experience and you won't have to even do anything. You can kind of go eat, you can leave, you can be AFK. Um, I wish you could see it, but I actually balance this old, you know, pack of cards that I have with a salt shaker on top of it against my controller and that holds down the button so I can then canter along the road and I can leave, watch something, come back, go take, make some notes, you know, do a whole bunch of things, prep a different video, come back and I'll have gotten horsemanship experience. So that's a viable method of training as well. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this guide to the horse. There are some things that I've missed. You know, inevitably, there's always things that I miss in this video. But if you have additional information, please put it in a comment down below. There's no need to jump at the chance to try and prove me wrong and say something snide. I would welcome the information and I would pin it to the top so that more people can see it. If there's better armor for the horse, if there's more armor for the horse, if there's better saddles, Better, better bridles, all of these different things. If there's another stable, another location, another training method, I would love to hear about that. And I would love to put that at the top of the comments so other people can hear as well. Uh, so just formulate it into a nice paragraph and boom, uh, hopefully it can help a lot of players. But that's about it. Check out the links down below if you want to support the community. Check out the patron as well. YouTube is unreliable at best. Uh, and there are a lot of projects that Upper Echelon and I myself work on to try and advance the community and build different facilities. So if you want to support that, check out the patron. Um, check out the forums on the website, the Facebook group, and all the other areas and all the other links. But I'll stop rambling. As always, have a nice night.